Hey, good morning, YouTube. What's going on? This is David Hill over with Beamer Vids NC. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. You're definitely going to want to check this one out. So I've got five things that you're going to want to know before you purchase a BMW certified pre-owned car. Now, I am a BMW client advisor. I've been with BMW for over two and a half years now. I've been in the car sales business for over five years, so I have a little bit of insight into some questions that you guys have for me when you come into the dealership, and so I wanted to make a quick video in case you guys are interested in purchasing a certified pre-owned car, what you need to know before you make that purchase. Now, what is a BMW certified car? BMW, the manufacturer, extends your protection for a year, and it's unlimited miles. This is in 2018, and they change it from time to time. So to 2018, it became one year unlimited miles. In 2016, it was six years, 100,000 miles. Um, I don't know when they're gonna change it next, but for you guys that wondering what is a BMW certified pre-owned car, that is uh, part of it. But there's a lot more to it. So I'm gonna get right into it. Uh, definitely, if you guys want to see more content like this, if you want to see maybe a specific car, uh, you'd like me to answer some more questions that you have, post a video, post a comment in the box below, and visit my website and uh, chat me up over there. I might have the content you're looking for, the answers to the questions you're looking for already. Let's get right into it. So number one is the maintenance. Now this is very, very important with BMW. BMW will not certify a vehicle unless it has the maintenance requirements that BMW um, has put in place. There's rules and there's um, regulations uh, that they have put in place so that a used car that wasn't maintained properly, wasn't fixed right, um, that does not get to be a certified pre-owned vehicle. So BMW actually allows us, the dealership, to pull the chassis number, which is the last seven of the VIN number, and tell right away whether the car was uh, serviced properly, if um, it had any fault codes that were thrown and fixed at the BMW Center. BMW keeps track of all of that, whether it's in my state, which is North Carolina, or in New Jersey, or Florida, California, it's all the same. BMW keeps track of all that, so the car has to be maintained properly. And this is a one very important fact um, because there's a lot of used cars out there, and there's a lot of used car dealerships that are not BMW. And you may get a good deal on that car, but you're also taking a little bit of a risk because you don't have, uh, and that dealership doesn't have the ability to tell what the history was on it other than what was reported to Carfax. Now, it's up to you if you guys want to take a, a risk and a gamble like that, but maintenance is one main thing that we can ensure that was done properly um, before we make it a certified pre-owned car. Number two, parts and cosmetics. So BMW also tells us while we go over the vehicle and try to make it a certified pre-owned car, part of that process is to fix it with all OEM parts or manufacturer approved parts. So that includes the tires, that includes like a belt and hose. If those were not fixed properly, we would have to go in and we would have to put BMW specific parts back on the car. Uh, that is really cool. Uh, cosmetically, BMW also mandates that we touch up any paint blemishes. Um, they also require that we don't have, you know, big rips, tears, burns in the leather. We have to go over a, what we call our vendor process. Um, it's basically where we take the whole car, we detail it, we go over it, we fix the little exterior blemishes for the most part, and uh, we also fix stuff on the interior so that it looks good. Um, and all of that has to be done with uh, BMW parts. We can't fix something and throw on cheap tires. We can't uh, fix a BMW and throw on aftermarket brakes. You know, not all of those tires are speed rated for what the BMW can do. And so that's something that's, you know, you may not think of when you go to purchase a, a, a used car, are those tires made for that vehicle? That's a big thing. That's the rubber to the road. That is how the car produces power. That's how it stops. And so it's very, very important to, to keep that in mind. Uh, now, number three, can I lease it? Now I get this question all the time. In North Carolina right now, unless the vehicle has not been titled and it has less than 5,000 miles, you cannot lease a used car, um, at least with BMW. Now, 
there are some states that allow you to do what we call select financing. That is illegal in my state, but there are some states where you can do that, and that's basically a balloon payment. And it's like a lease, but it's not really a lease because you have that financial burden at the end. Um, I can't recommend or deny it, you know, or or suggest you do it or don't suggest you do it because I don't have as much experience. But in most states, you cannot lease a used car. Number four, <laughs> number four, the warranty. Okay, so this is another this is another one. Um, and by the way, guys, not all of my videos have like you know the, the kind of audio quality. I'm just shooting this in my car because I felt like it might be helpful for you guys. The warranty. Okay, the warranty is uh, something that is uh, asked a lot. So if you go onto my lot right now, you'll actually see that the buyer's order, the official federal regulated buyer's order, says as is no dealer warranty, but it also has a box check that says manufacturer warranty still applies. So the dealer is not warranting the car, BMW is warranting the car. The dealership is just facilitating that process and able to give you the vehicle as a certified pre-owned vehicle. So the warranty on BMWs, all new BMWs come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. It's very, they're very comprehensive, covers really everything on the car. And when it is sold as a certified pre-owned car, that um, warranty is still in place. Uh, it is good from the original in-service date. Now, the BMW Center can tell you the exact day the car was originally in service, which is when it was sold or when it was registered uh, to a new owner. And that is when your warranty clock starts. So you might be buying a 2016, but it could have been sold in mid-2015. So you can't go by just the model year to determine how long your warranty is gonna last. Making this vehicle a certified pre-owned, it's gonna extend the warranty coverage for you. BMW is going to tack on an additional year and unlimited miles to give you protection for that vehicle. So if you came in and you wanted to purchase a 2014, it was uh, sold December 2013, you would have until December of this year, 2018, or unlimited miles before you would run out of the certified premium protection. The certified premium protection does not run with the original manufacturer warranty, it kicks in when the manufacturer warranty stops. So if you hit 50,000 miles, or if you get to four years old, that's when the certified premium warranty kicks in. Now, a big benefit to you is that, um, one, you have the peace of mind that it's a certified premium car. It's a BMW that was serviced at a BMW store, and it passes all the qualifications for it to be a CPO. CPO is like an industry term. It's short for certified premium. Not only that, but you get the extension of the warranty, but it also qualifies for more warranty extensions if you want to do that. Now those are not free, and also the maintenance is not included with the BMW. Uh, it is brand new for a small period of time, three years, uh, but it doesn't cover everything. So you definitely wanna look into maintenance upgrades that you can get directly through BMW or the dealership that you're buying the car from uh, to give you protection for the maintenance as well, because you do definitely wanna maintain a BMW. It is a German, fine engineer, finely tuned engineered car, it needs to be taken care of. Uh, the last thing I wanna talk about is pricing on the car. So this is a big, big thing. What kind of a deal can I get on a certified pre-owned car? I'm making this video in July, 2018. BMW changes what we call our programs every single month. And so what I'm gonna tell you right now may not be applicable to when you purchase or watch this video, for the most current and up-to-date information about what BMW's programs and pricing information are is just go on their website. You can find it's all listed on their website. You can see what rebates are available, what extra incentives are available, and that is the half that's publicly listed. Now, BMW also gives the dealership some flexibility by kicking us back you know, X amount of dollars. I don't know how much it is on every car, but they'll allow uh, for us to sell a certain amount of pre-owned cars. They'll give us a bonus if we do that. Just market volume, it's very typical in the, in the, in the industry. Now that's not disclosed to the customer. So I'm sorry, I can't, <laughs> I can't help you out there. And I, I honestly don't even know all of them. It's too hard to keep track because it's different for every model. Uh, 
But the pricing in general on a certified premium car is attractive. BMW does come out for core products like the 3 Series, the 5 Series, um, vehicles that are heavily saturated in the market. BMW a lot of times allows an incentive to the customer to get a special finance rate or get a special extra discount on the price of the car uh, to help the dealership move the car. So you can get some pretty good pricing um, and that also makes up the difference because obviously if you're going to find a certified premium BMW versus non-certified premium but BMW, there's, there's obviously going to be a price difference because the dealership has spent more money uh, fixing that car you know and we pay a flat fee for just the certificate just the badge of a certified pre-owned car just in itself so there's going to be a little bit of a price increase there so if you are interested in uh, some more content like this or if you liked this video please do give it a thumbs up subscribe i'm definitely going to give you guys more information as things move along i promise not every video is going to be shot in my car on the way to work uh, hopefully you guys bear with me and uh, you enjoy the content that I gave to you. I'd love to keep in touch. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a shout. My contact information is listed below. Of course, I'm a BMW client advisor, so if you guys want to purchase a new or pre-owned car, BMW or non-BMW, I can probably help you with that. Thank you so much. I appreciate the time, and we'll talk to you later.